and the paintings reflect a modern viewpoint of life as well as of Buddhist thought. Normally, we don't take pictures of restrooms, toilet. but the hole-in-the-ground toilet for visitors was a stark contrast to the modern accommodations privacy. inside the palace. Just no privacy feet. Outside. Yaks provide the main ingredients of the traditional Tibetan food. We had to taste some of their dishes. Okay. Mm. Beer? What? Beer? No. We're having a traditional Tibetan meal <laughs> from sheep to yak. Yak, yak. So we yak with this, yak with that. Yak with eggplant. There's yak yogurt. This is barley cake with yak butter and cheesecake. Batsu maku made from yak butter. Fried cheap lungs. Fried cheap sausage. Fried rice with yak. Fried mushrooms with yak. Fried celery with yak. Spiced potatoes. Eggplant dumplings. Sheep and potato soup and steamed yak dumplings. It's all very delicious. And then all kinds of yak are sold in a store selling just yak. One can take a variety of yak home. Different types of yak meat. Oh. That's not yak meat, is it? Yes. Yak meat. Yak meat. What is this? Also, this is yak. Yak meat. Right, yak meat. Yak meat. Yes. Did you ever? No. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yak meat. So yak meat. Yak meat. <laughs> In this carpet factory, we discovered a world of creativity that again employed the products of this highly specialized region and that reflect a harmony with the environment. The sheep wool is long and elastic, making it ideal for carpets. Natural elements provide the dyes. For example, yellow is created with ginger and saffron. A color sampler of yarn was available for easy reference. This is yellow ginger. From special trees, only grow in Tibet. This is saffron. And the women at the looms are kept warm with dried yak dung fuel that also provides a steady hot flame for the dyes. That's, that's what they heat the water with. These are finished pieces here. Oh, so me, oh, what a choice. This is the Tibetan symbol for woman. The Tibetan dancers are called Ngomba. The various performances that the Tibetans shared with us show us the variety of colorful songs, dances, and costumes.
colors found in the prayer flags of Tibet symbolize the five elements. Yellow for earth, white for water, red for fire, blue for space, and green for air and wind. The flags and the prayer wheels are designed to help the faithful develop a compassionate and enlightened state of mind. Wax made from yaks is placed as offerings. A special interest was watching the Tibetan monks argue over the scriptures. In the courtyard, they carry on lively debates by using a question and answer technique. The first asks a question. The others attempt to respond appropriately. From a very early age, the young monk struggles to achieve perfection in mind and attitude. Perfection, Buddhist philosophy, comes from within. This lively debate exposes the spirit that may give the people living on the roof of the world a reason to hope. 